Hey, I'm Dr. Murphy. So I want to talk about a case that came in yesterday, a patient that wasn't feeling very well for about the last two weeks. Owners noticed that he was maybe losing a little bit of weight, not eating as much. And so um, they brought him in and we did a physical exam and determined that during the feeling of his belly, it was very firm and he seemed uncomfortable. And so that immediately prompted me to want to take some x-rays of his belly and see what was going on there. Always have the suspicion in older dogs. This is a 10 year old coon hound of cancer. Unfortunately, it's really common of the spleen or liver in situations like this. And so we proceeded with the x-rays and here's what we found. We're looking at this dog laying on his side and this large structure here within the belly is a mass um, and it's actually pushing all the intestinal loops which are these things way back further than they should be and uh, up here is the chest area so from there we've got to determine what organ does this belong to and um, that's point one point two is is this thing um, alone or are there other tumors that would suggest metastasis or spread which would imply malignancy versus a benign process and the other thing we want to determine is, is this tumor bleeding? And if it is, that incites emergency on, on surgery. And so um, we were able to recommend from there that we take, take chest x-rays and make sure there's no evidence of tumor spread in the lungs. And, and so with that, we lay the patient on, on his side and we look at uh, the lungs, which are these darker areas here around this big white thing that, that's the heart, um, and we look for evidence of tumor spread. Um, this is actually a prominent lymph node um, that's associated with the, with the sternal region. This is the sternum, this, this white structure here. Um, this is the trachea, the main airway, and this is the aorta coming out of the heart. So all of these things are normal appearing. Um, but this is just one dimension of a three-dimensional object, so we have to actually look at um, the other side of the chest. And so we're laying the patient on its other side now, um, and that's actually the metallic ring of the leash that's on the pet. Um, and so we did not see any evidence of tumor spread there either. We lay the patient on his back so that we can get the third dimension of the lung fields. And uh, from that, we were able to prove that there was no obvious spread of the tumor. And so um, that prompts a recommendation for surgery. And so that's where we are today. But before we go into surgery, let's look at some ultrasound pictures.